What's up guys, John from Fumaplot.com here today with another on the farm video. Thanks guys for clicking on the video, I do appreciate it. So, Dad is out here at the asparagus patch, I'm there too, you can see my shadow a little bit. And we are going to expand our asparagus patch. Now, this was filmed a couple weeks ago at this point, and it was cold that day, so we coats on. And obviously our asparagus hasn't started greening up yet or anything as of when this was filmed. So we're using a Ryan sod cutter. Now the reason we're using a sod cutter, basically what a sod cutter does is it, you know, there's like a blade in the ground going back and forth and it cuts the grass off. So you can just take a pitchfork and scoop it up. The reason we're using that is we wanted to tilt this up and obviously all that grass and root and everything just would not have you know turned out too good with the tiller so first step would either be to spray it and let it die or just go in with the side gutter and uh, cut all the side off so that's what we're doing I think we're only cutting about three quarter of an inch or so below the machine and uh, yeah no big deal it's a pretty awesome machine they also have a manual one but that's called a side kicker it's like the thing you put out front and you kick it and it cuts the side but the gas powered one's so much easier to use so that's what we went with. Good times, right? So we're going to be expanding our asparagus patch to three rows. Two rows I think we're going to cut in the spring, and then one row we're going to cut in the fall. Although I think Dad had said something about maybe getting rid of one of those rows and like redoing it, the first row farthest on the right. Um, there are some holes in that row where you know the asparagus plants have died over the years and, and whatnot and we've never replaced them so once we get this row established then maybe rip out that first row and redo it and then once we get that row established redo the center row you know kind of trade them out or you know just redo them after a while it's not like strawberries where you do actually have to redo them every so many years um, asparagus seems to just kind of go for a long time so we got the tractor out, 995, and I'm just going to scoop it all up and uh, get rid of it. And uh, the side cutter worked pretty good. The dirt was a little wet this day, but not too bad. And uh, like I said, the side cutter worked real good. Um, yeah, if you just tried telling us, it would be just a nightmare mess. So now technically all the roots are still there, but you just get rid of the actual grass. and. Uh, you can see it works pretty good and you can go in there with the pitchfork or a shovel and just scrape it up because you you know you only disturb the top little three quarter of an inch or whatever and uh, beyond that it was nice packed dirt so it's kind of kind of nice you don't like over dig or anything and uh, yeah good times right something all right so you can see me over there I'm gonna launch the drone because you know it's always a good time for a drone right and this was a little freaky first time I kind of just put it up and let it like hover I did, wasn't in control of it obviously here in a second I handed it off to dad and uh, here we go drone footage now so it's just kind of chilling it was a little windy this day too so you can see it's like moving around and, uh, and, and whatnot and for some reason it kept going down just like real slow the uh, Phantom 3 just kind of kept going down just a little bit at a time. It was a little a little weird, but, uh, you know, all good, all good. So I think we ended up having to take three loads with the tractor. Yeah, three loads with the tractor. And we went and dumped it actually in our leaf bins over there where we uh, had moved that stuff a couple weeks ago with that mini front loader. So you can see it was going down and down and down so I walked over and put it back up a little bit. And uh, yeah, it was just kind of interesting to uh, kind of put it in surveillance mode and just let it go. In surveillance mode meaning just kind of set the controller down. Literally set the controller down. And uh, just let it go. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting but uh, on a non-windy day, obviously it would be a lot steadier, but uh, it was it was pretty windy, which is pretty normal down there. Uh, I actually want to film something with the, using the wind and the drone, 
and we were down there the other day and there was no wind 100 percent no wind it was very very strange it wasn't enough wind to do what i wanted to do with the drone at all i'm like well okay so i i decided to try something a little different here and i'm calling it droning and driving um it's kind of difficult when you have a tractor that kind of needs two hands at times to drive for like you know shifting gears steering and then moving the um for the front loader you know you gotta have a hand for that sometimes so droning and driving is kind of uh kind of difficult I, w I wouldn't recommend it um I mean, it's fun. I'll probably do it again. It was it was a good challenge. You'll see, like, you know, I had to just stop and, uh, and you know, adjust my bucket, take my bucket up. Now, you'll see right here in a second why we don't use this tractor to move all of our leaf mulch. It's just too big for this area. So we've done this before with this tractor, uh, moving all that leaf mulch, but you end up, like, right on top of that foundation, which actually used to be our old chicken house and it's just kind of a kind of a thing so you can see there's already one bucket of stuff laying in there and then this would be bucket two and yeah i hold one more bucket in uh, later i don't think i showed that to you guys in this video though but uh yeah droning and driving was uh it was something it was something so there you can just see it's kind of difficult to drive with the one hand basically and try to control the drone and I mean, the drone does a really good job of just kind of chilling wherever you leave it. But, you know, it's like real slow because I got to shift gears and then, okay, I want to move the drone. And, well, I'll just stop the tractor. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's a process. Let's be honest here. It's it's a thing. So, yeah. As, uh, as, you, as I said before, that old foundation there with that slab, that used to be the chicken house. And uh, that's the one on our one stream that Mike and I were talking about that uh, they had turned into like a little corn crib when he was selling ear corn. And uh, when we went to tear it down, I actually partially fell through the roof of that sucker. We were up there getting the shingles off. It had just asphalt shingles on the, on the top. And uh, it was a little soft. And I, I ended up going like one leg in and uh, one leg out. And then, I don't know, it was 20 minutes later or something, Dad did the same thing, but in a different spot. So... That was good times. I don't even remember what year we tore it down. It was after 95, because uh, I think it went through the 95 flood. It might have been 95. Um, that was the last time we were flooded. It was 1995, so... Uh, I think it had a condemned sticker on it after that. But I could be wrong. Dad will correct me after this video comes out, because he watches all these. So. Alright, so now the next step would be to till this with the front side tiller. This is the one that we put that engine on. And, and whatnot, the John Deere um, 624, I think it is. Which obviously it's not supposed to have that engine, but that Briggs engine, that red Briggs, Briggs engine, looks really good on that uh, on the green, the red and the green. I think look uh, really good. So just kind of gonna go through it with the front time tiller and chop it all up a little bit, and go backwards with the front time tiller at the same time. Why not? video trickery editing magic I just thought it was kind of funny I was like hey I'm gonna do that so yellow is not great all right so yeah continuing the tilling process with the front tying tiller and uh, it's kind of difficult to fly this close to the tiller and dad and you know there's a telephone pole there and um, and whatnot but uh, I like seeing the stuff blow on the ground from the wind from the drone it, kind of cracks me up and uh yeah good times so you guys if you liked this video you know like and subscribe far more as far continuing the asparagus process i will be showing you guys much much more in the future but like i said guys if you like this video like and subscribe for more i'm john from puma plow i'm gonna leave you guys with an awesome cloud fast time not really a montage it might be i don't know uh one day we left the farm to come in for lunch or something and this i let this run for an hour and a half or something until the battery died on the gopro sped it up a whole bunch thanks to you guys for watching i'm john from puma catch you next time toodles